painful as it may be, I must rule in favor of the defense. The case of People versus Lawrence Long and Arthur Coombs is dismissed. That judge was Michael Douglas. The movie is The Star Chamber. It opens tonight here in Kansas City, and listen up. This movie is about something. It's been a long time this summer since we've seen a movie that was both entertaining and had ideas. Star Chamber, just maybe your cup of tea if you want both, as I do, out of a motion picture. Michael Douglas is an idealistic young judge. Because of technicalities, occasionally he has to let criminals go scot-free, as we just saw. What is going on here, he wants to know. Is the law not working anymore? What can I do? What does he do? He ends up being involved with a group of superior court judges. They have formed what we call a star chamber. Now, what is a star chamber? We need to go back to the 15th century with King Henry VII and know about a secret society of people who held themselves above the law. They were the law, and they would enact their own kind of law. Now, the movie Star Chamber asks us then, what is more important, to observe the law as it stands or to form what it is, is in effect, a vigilante group, and enforce our own kind of law? Those are two very heavy-duty questions. Now, let's take a look in this clip at Star Chamber as Michael Douglas discusses the problems with his own mentor, Hal Holbrook. No more games. No more. Time to get your fingernails dirty, kiddo. Someone has kidnapped justice and hidden it in the law. Now, who's better qualified than we are to find it? You tell me that. the same place we are. You're a good young man who wants to be a good judge. You don't know what the hell being a good judge is anymore. Well, we are in a society that asks a lot of these kinds of questions. Violence in our neighborhoods, in our streets, is a big problem. Who's going to enforce it, and how can the laws be made better? And when are the laws inadequate? These are all issues running throughout all of Star Chamber. If the movie has a problem, and I think it has a few, it's that it tries to become too much of a cops and robbers chase film near the end. And maybe it switches our allegiances a, too, a few too many times. Sometimes we're in favor of him going outside the law, Michael Douglas. The other times we're more in favor of him going back into the mainstream of the law. It gets a little confusing there. But all told, I think Star Chamber is a winner and will prove to be popular. Let's take a look at our rating now, our AM Live movie scorecard, we call it, okay? Our first rating out of five points, for family appeal, well, that one I can only give two. It's a bit too talky, I think, for the younger folks out there. Our second category, artistic merit. I give that one a three. Beautifully lit, nicely edited, but a bit inconsistent near the end, as I noted. Out of five points for entertainment value, hey, this one is a five. It held my interest. It was suspenseful all the way. Special interest here, I think, performances by Hal Holbrook and some beautiful lighting and, of course, the film's relevance to contemporary issues. So. A grand total here, AM Live rating is a 15, which is a pretty high rating after all. Again, Star Chamber, a movie about issues, and it's also entertaining. All right, let's get back to our regular program.